Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Nintendo 3DS emulator called Lime 3DS. First, let's head to Lime 3DS GitHub page. Scroll down until you see assets and download the APK file. I've already downloaded the app, so I'm going to click Cancel. Go to Downloads and install the app. Select the user folder, this is where all your Lime 3DS data will be stored. I will choose the folder I made to store my data for Lime 3DS. Here, you are going to select the folder where you keep your downloaded ROMs for 3DS. Then go to Options. If your downloaded ROM is in CIA format, you need to install it first here. Once installed, we can now see it in our game folder. Now let's go to the GPU driver manager. This is where we can install GPU drivers to improve its performance. I'll be using the latest turnip driver. Now, let's go to settings. Here in Graphics API, if you are using an older Android device with a weak processor, use OpenGL IS. If you have a newer Android device with powerful processor, use Vulkan. Enable this option to avoid stuttering. Here in internal resolution, you can increase it up to 10 times for maximum graphics quality. But if you don't have a powerful device, your game will lag at higher graphics settings. I recommend using between 4 and 6 times even if you have a powerful device. Adreno GPU Boost, this is optional. If turned on, it will boost performance but will also consume more power and increase temperature.
Now, let's load up a game. You can swipe to the right of your screen or use the back button on your device to access the menu settings. Screen Layout This is where we can select our preferred layout of the screens. If you want to see your FPS, go to Overlay Options and select Show FPS. If you want to turn off the haptics of button, you can select the haptic feedback.
Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing.